Well, greetings and salutations, test takers. This is the Series 7 Guru coming to you from my studio here in fabulous Las Vegas with another explication request. The best uh, free supplement to your paid study materials is my YouTube channel. But if you're looking for a paid supplement, I highly recommend the Kaplan Cubic. Get almost 4,000 questions with a performance tracker with my uh, Guru 15 discount code at checkout. You can get it for $55.80. Uh, for that commercial, Kaplan allows you, me, to give you a free look on Kaplan content like this. All right, here's the question. The city of Columbus issued a 20-year general obligation bond with a price of 50. That's 50% 50 of par. That's $500. An original purchaser sold the bond at 75 after holding it for seven years. So in muni bonds, particularly muni zero coupon bonds, original issue discount, which this is, the imputed interest is tax-free, and that's the only component of a muni bond that is tax-free. I mean, if you buy a muni bond low and you sell it high, that's just like buying a stock low and selling it high, you got a capital gain. Uh, after holding it for seven years. So it looks like what we're going to have to do here is accretion. When we buy zero coupon bonds, we have to do straight line amortization upward called accretion. I actually think that's uh, more likely to be test going downward for a muni bond at a premium where we have to adjust it. Now, if you held this to maturity, you know, would have done that each year, there'd be no gain or loss at maturity, but you didn't. You held it at for seven years. For tax purposes, the sale generated. All right, so we got to do accretion here to figure out the adjusted cost base, right? So we're paying 500, we're getting back 1,000, we're getting $500 over 20 years. And that component out of it, that imputed $25 a year is tax-free because it is a muni bond is the issuer of the city of Columbus. So we're going to have to adjust our cost base up $25 each year. Uh, we don't owe taxes on that. If this was a, uh, you know, corporate zero, we'd be paying taxes on the $25. But since it's a muni, the imputed interest is tax-free. All right, so now we've held it for seven years, and we should have adjusted it uh, by $25. So we should have written this up, accreted our cost base up to $675. Right, the 500 plus seven years at 25 bucks, uh, that's 675. It says we sold it for 750. So we sold it for 750, that's our sales proceeds. Our adjusted cost base was 675. And so the answer to this question is we have a $75 capital gain. So I uh, hope that was helpful. Remember, inch by inch. Your exam is essential, yard by yard. Your exam is hard, and I will see you for the next explication request.